God. What do we got, Sam? <laughs> That's a big one. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah! I got him. <laughs> that right there, folks, is the Silver King. We are not in Dallas anymore. We are in. Miami. We are in Miami, home of sunshine, palm trees, and not too far from the Florida Keys, and dolphins, yes. We are headed to get picked up outside as soon as we find our luggage. Hopefully my fishing rods made it. And then we're gonna chase the Silver King this week. Very excited, spent it all week. We'll see you in a bit. We are in the sunshine for one more week. Welcome to Isla Mirada, Florida. We got Sam Waleen. We got Lisa Oaks. Your name isn't officially changed yet. Oh Samantha Siemens. We got Darcy Cox, you know him. Scott Ziegler. And we're fishing the ocean this week. We're, uh, we're chasing the Silver King, the tarpon, my favorite fish to fish for. But first we're heading into Hog Heaven. Approximately 10 hours later. How is Hog Heaven? Nope, nope, <laughs> people are gonna get the wrong idea. Hog Heaven was delicious. We are going shopping. I need to pick up a visor yet. That is a key part of my Florida attire. As you can see, I've changed. I'm now wearing my tarpon shirt. Um, and we're gonna stop at Bass Pro Shops and I think we're gonna get fishing then. Will you help me find a visor, Sam? <laughs> oh no. Here. I think this would be so good for keeping the sun off me. I don't disagree. It just... Uh, we'll talk if you find a good visor. This might also keep your wife off you. That's okay. So... I did get a visor, but I thought this would be a little more functional, so. Here's the case for you. Thank it's you so purchased. much. 25 we, bucks, We have Come it on. forever Come now. Come on. We're gonna find us some tarpon. <laughs> You can't Whoa! Oh my god! We found some tarpon. What do you think? You ready to catch one? Oh, I'm, I'm in, man. I'm in. Are you ready to catch one? <laughs> they look bigger than I am. They probably are. I have now changed so that I can specifically match Jay while we're fishing. <laughs> we are rigged! and camera gear is dialed and we're going for the evening bite. It gets so hot down here. I think with the Humidex, it feels like it's plus 40 or something like that is supposed to be today. This is tropical. This is the sport fishing capital of the world. They call Isla Mirada or the Keys. Anyway, Sam says you can tell by the palm trees. We're not at home anymore. There's our boy Darcy getting things ready. And this is gonna be home for the week. I'm very excited to our friends like Darcy to invite me down. He's down here for two weeks. We are here for the second week, and this is our vessel. And muskies, you said? Yeah, big yep, muskies. Big saltwater muskies. All right, we are on a boat now. Um, our original boat that we rented did not fire up. But anyways, they are coming to fix it, which is fantastic. We are headed out thanks to the lovely- Randy Dale. Randy Dale? Yeah. Randy Dale, yes. Randy Dale you are amazing. the man. Thank you for hooking us up with your friend's boat. That's his yeah. friend's boat, right? Yep. Randy's friend, thank you so much. We're gonna go christen it with a tarpon. Tarpon in the tuna boat. Day one, Florida Keys. Here we go. And we're gonna give it a shout out to Clayton Schick because Clayton Schick is kind of the reason we're all here. He took Darcy and Lisa and myself years ago. You may have seen the videos on the Uncut Angling channel, Tarpon Fishing. He kind of paved the way for what we're doing now. And uh, Clayton can't be here, unfortunately, but we are here in his honor. Clayton didn't die, he's still alive, he's fine. We're casting swim baits, casting jerk shads, and we're waiting for the tide to come in and start catching fish. I'm gonna stop talking and start casting. Welcome to Florida. A little mullet. <laughs> That's what Sam's gonna be using. There you go. Until it's all the way to the wire. 
All the way to the wire. I think I'm oh, oh. All the way to the wire. All the way to the wire. All the way to the wire. Sam, time for a little fishing update. Yeah. I was slightly worried of it. That's not going to be fun. Your hat just hit me there. How's the fishing been? Fishing has been good because we are in. Um, uh, 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 start over. Sam, give us the viewers a little. Sam, give the viewers a little update on how fishing has been so far. Fishing has been good because we are in Florida <laughs> and it's warm. Look at that view. I'm in shorts. We saw one tarpon jumped, which was cool. Sam saw our first jumping tarpon, one boat over. So they're biting. The tide is picking up. So over there, that is the Atlantic Ocean. This is the Gulf side, they call it, and. The tides come in and go out. Right now we have an incoming tide, so it's swirling or like flowing this way. So we're casting our jigs out at a 45 and swinging them back. Hopefully that's what's gonna get chowed, but what are, what are perfect evening. Uh, you're using some sort of mullet imitation swim bait? I don't even know. That looks good. I'm using a little Kitek. I mean, we haven't got bait yet, so we're not sure what's working, but it's just about to get to prime time. To answer your question, Jay, fishing is medium but it's good because we're in Florida and everything's good and we have a boat and we have a boat <laughs> Randy Dale <laughs> is the man rise and shine it is day two in the Florida Keys didn't really end day one um, on video we didn't catch anything but we were just lucky to get out on this boat Sam decided to uh, catch Bonner Beauty sleep this morning but anyways the rest of us are out tarpon fishing we're back doing the bridge thing and it's just another glorious day in the keys looking for the first tarpon of the trip i mean these guys have been here a week already never mind we're going fishing yeah hooked up hooked up scott is hooked up first tarpon hooked up Tell me You're on the left on side. The side. Uh, right, side right, right side, right side, right side, right side. Yeah, yeah. Slow down, he can't keep up. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Scott? Powerful? Oh. <laughs> we do, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am excited. Woo! How are you doing? He's good. A little more to one. Scott, I, I got a question. Yep. How's your FG not? Uh, <laughs> holding. holding. It's good. Thanks, Briggs B. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> oh. Those were some incredible jumps. This is a good first tarpon of the trip. It's a caught tarpon. Yeah, we got her. Good job, man. Yeah. So good. She snapped 130 pound or 100 pound. Wow. These fish are so strong. So in the world of tarpon, touching the leader is a caught fish. You don't bring them into the boat. Legally, you can't bring them into the boat if they're over 40 inches, I think, or something like that. And that's a caught fish. We touched the leader. We wanted to get a picture with it. We got some stills that we'll be able to pull out of the video, but uh, thoughts on your first tarpon? It sure kicked my butt. <laughs> Incredible. Those things are muscle. Yeah, muscle. so good. Such a nice fish, too. That so is why we stick it out right there. We switched bridges and we hooked up. That fish was sitting in the shade, so I needed a hit just before, so we might be onto something. So good, such cool jumps. We're getting back at it. Now it's Darcy's turn. All right, Scotty, what? Caught it! Oh, we got ourselves the new penny five inch jerk shad. That's the color. That's the color. But right there in the throat, we're using a slip knot to give her a little bit more on her jumps, and that's where she broke. That was sweet. Right in the shade, yeah. I think, is where that fish was sitting. Yeah, she uh, must have just passed the shade, pulling it through, and just made the nicest first run. Probably pulled off a couple hundred yards of line the first run. All about yeah, the leader touch. Getting pictures of these fish is so difficult, and you just you realize that you don't. You know, maybe you get a boatside shot, maybe it just pops off boatside, but that is why you do it. The jumps are everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's on. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that was good. That was good. oh, Lisa was on. Folks, we are calling it a morning. It is noon. We've been fishing since probably just before seven. Lisa hooked one. Scott landed one. 
Darcy captained one and I photographed one. Anyways, we're headed back in and we're gonna make an afternoon game plan. But it gets very hot in the middle of the day and the fishing gets tougher. And it's now slack tide. So you want a little bit of current when you are fishing these bridges. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go in and eat some food. Fish on. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Oh, it's small. It was not. Yeah, it was... I don't think that's tarpon. Yeah, it was probably a jack. Pretty small. Welcome back. It is the afternoon bite. We got a tarpon this morning, which was amazing. Got it to the leader, which is a classified catch in the tarpon world. And we're back out. We got Sam back on the boat. Sam, say hi. Hi. Sam's back. She's shark fishing out the back, actually. And we're gonna see how many people we can cast off this boat. As you can see, we're back in our original rental boat. Got it working. It's a little bit smaller, a little cozier, but it should do the trick. We're feeling confident now that we've located some fish and we're gonna get casting. And after looking into it now, and Sam looked into the other options, it's like... Yep, 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 yep! Oh, yeah! Oh! He's off! Oh, he's off, he's off, he's off! Oh! Did you see that? Oh, that was good. That was good. Woo! What just happened, Sam? Jay just took the tarp in. Hooked my first tarpon of the trip. That's the first tarpon I've hooked in four years. Felt so good. Stayed on for two jumps and it got off, which is something that you can almost expect when you hook a tarpon. Two good jumps though. Two real good jumps. That fish hit right by the piling there. I just kept casting that same area. And these fish are sitting there. When, on a sunny day, when you drive by, you can see them sitting there in the shadows. And sometimes it just takes that lure floating at the right speed right whatever profile right time of day and they'll decide to eat it so good sign we've hooked two now this evening lisa had one on very quickly and we've got quite a few hours yet tonight so feeling good i think the mood is real good today that's four four we've hooked today yeah four tarp and hook today yep, that's that awesome so best day and they've been here for a week already so it's only shaping up to improve ain't that right samantha we never concluded last night's fishing. Uh, Lisa had one on and I had one on. That gave us a total of four hooked up yesterday, one being landed. That was an awesome day. Any day you hook a tarpon is a good day. Um, we're back out here this morning once again, um, but that's gonna be in the next video. So thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you tomorrow.